Monterey County again. I'm going to try the 2 ounce Cast Master uh, with the dental floss bucktail that I made. Give it a shot. I have a 2 inch swim bait as well. I'm probably going to try that on a uh, Carolina rig. Let's go. Right here is a little trough. It's breaking right here, I can see, so I want to try here first. So it's high tide right now, the peak high tide. So I moved. This is the spot I wanted to go at. This is where the hole is at. As long as I don't get like a stingray or something. I haven't really had issues with the trebles, but with a single hook, I don't think the dental floss works so well. It's like really sticking together, not doing too well. I'm gonna switch it up. I have a Carolina rig here. It's a one and a half ounce egg weight and a two inch swim bait here. I have a new rod too. This is the Pin Prevail. It's a medium light. I think I'm wanting to use this for surf perch fishing instead of my salmon steelhead rod. The reasoning behind it is the rod guides are bigger. So it should be able to cast further. And I think it still should be light enough for surf perch. This is last year's model, so I got this one on sale. The price was right, so I went ahead and got it. All right. It's supposed to be able to throw two ounces. Let's see what happens, man. Just a little cast. Nothing crazy right now. Yeah, I definitely cast a lot further. I can already tell. I can already tell, dude. There's a hit. It's a hit, dude. Surf perch is gonna have to be pretty big to be able to take this thing. What I'm really hoping for is a halibut or a straight bass with it. Or a really big surf perch. Another hit. Dude, it is the surf perch. Wow, dude. Wow. I didn't think one that small would be able to take all of it like that. Let's see. Wow. There you go, girl. All right, man. Well, that's good news. That was still pretty fun. Still light enough rod, I think. All right, dude, let's go. Just a slow retrieve. Oh, there we go again. Oh man, they're right here. They're right here, man. There, there he is again, really close. There's another hit, dude. Oh, that's close. I'm trying, I just can't take it. Again, again. Again. I got him. I think I got him this time. Yeah, I got him. Uh, sorry, my camera died. But just a little surf perch. I think we'll go ahead and release this one. Get in the water right quick. Whew. Oh, he came off. That's okay. That's okay. He was barely hooked. Twisted it all up. I want some bigger perch, man. Gotta be some bigger ones here, right? Another bite, dude. They're going after this swim bait like crazy. I think they're just mostly small ones though. Nibbling, just a nibbling. Again, come on. Striper, big surf perch, halibut, come on. Oh, something nailed it. Something nailed it, dude. And I set the hook pretty hard. That was a pretty big fish. Like he let go as soon as he hit. Oh! 
Did you see that? There, I think that's a striped bass right there. I saw him blow up. My, I need to get my cast master. Yeah, there's striped bass here. Man, he blew up on top of the water. Striped bass should go for this though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a striped bass, man. Come on. There's a hit again. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Oh, take it, dude, take it. Time for the cast master, man. I think the stripers may have shown up, maybe. Flies on me. Try this now. Yeah. Oh, he got off, I think. Or did he? I think I still got him. Not very big. Oh, wow. Dude, it's even smaller. What? Well, at least I know they can take the whole thing, man. That's crazy. Chill. Chill for me, dude. I'll let you go. I'll let you go, man, but you gotta chill for me. Alright, little girl. Huh. There you go, girl. Oh, yeah, she's got it. No problem. Oh. Instant hit, dude. Instant hit. <laughs> I got to back up a little bit here. That's a better one. Dude, that's a better fish. Same spot. It's not that much better, but it's a better fish for sure. For sure, dude. Woo! For sure it's a better fish. Ah. Eh. All right, not that much better. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's okay, at least we're catching stuff. A little bit better. Oh. Woo. Woo. Come on, girl. I'll let you go. I'll, aye. Come on. On the bottom lip there. Huh. That's a good one. That might be a striper. That might be a striper, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo! Yes. Yes, dude, yes. I think that might be a striper. I don't wanna lose this one. Oh, come on, man. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh no, it's a surf perch. Whoa, it's a big one. All right, dude. That one's thick. Woo, that one's thick. <laughs> All right. Yeah, finally. Now that's the size we're looking for, buddy. Really close, too. Whew. All right. That's the size we want right there, man. That's the size we want. Whew. You know, it's a girl, but I think I'm going to keep this one. Want some fish. Normally, I wouldn't keep girls, but I'll keep this one. Not too bad. All right. Let's see if we can get another one. This light rod, I really thought it was a striper maybe. Felt a lot bigger than what it was. But that's why I got a light rod for surf perch, so. More fun that way. Just a slow, constant retrieve on that one. Pausing it every now and then. Right here, come on. 
Come on, right here. Right here, man, come on. There we go, come on. Just tapped it, tapped it, tapped it, dude. There he is, got him, yes, 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 I knew it. I knew it, man. Perfect spot, woo! That's a good fish, yo. That's a good fish. Wow, that's a good fish. That This actually might be a striper. This actually might be a striper if I can land him. Come on, buddy. Woo! Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Good fish. Same spot. Woo! Yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. I don't want to lose this one. This is a surf purchase. Huge. Woo! Come on. Come on, but whoa! Yeah, this is a striper. It's got to be. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. Don't, don't break. Don't come off. This has got to be a striper, right? It's got to be. I'll let him go if it is. No, it's a sur No, wait a minute. It might be a surf perk. No, it's a striper. It's a striper. I was right. I was right, man. All right. Multi-species day. Woo. Come on in, buddy. He's big enough to keep, actually. Wow, dude. Wow. All right, dude. Woo. There we go. Got him, dude. Got him. Let's go measure him right quick. Two-inch swim bait. Let's see what we got. He's 20 inches. I think we're gonna keep this one. Oh, I think we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna keep this one, buddy. Thank you, buddy. It's a pretty small one, so these are good eating size, the smaller ones. If I catch another striper, it's gonna be catch and release, though. It's a striped bass. One tip I'll give you guys. I think it helps with getting more bites. So my mono here, I have a double uni knot. To the braid, right there. And it gives me a little bit of a longer kind of, of a leader that's clear instead of having a dark line in the water. So I have that. And then all the way right here, it's my main leader, the Carolina rig with the mono. So about this much from here to the actual lure itself, clear line, so I think that actually helps. It's another reason why I like to have big rod guides because it creates a little knot there. And on those salmon steelhead rods, the uh, rod guides are really small, so it hits them a lot, so it doesn't cast as far. So that's really the biggest reason why I got this actual surf rod. It'll cast farther. So I caught that striped bass. It was like three hours after uh, after peak high tide. That's when I caught him. Oh, dude, dude, right there, right there. That was probably a striper. They're really, really close. All right, got him on the swim beds. These guys right here. Bay Shad. And these are the hooks. But uh, I'll leave the info in the video description. See the cast master with the uh, down floss and bucktail hook here. Not sure if that's going to work out. It works with the trebles, but you can kind of see it's all matted up. It like frayed. I think it's because it's kind of long. And uh, on the trebles, it's not as long. But I'll still try it. It might still work. See, there's a YouTuber tournament coming up. I'll leave some information in the uh, video description. But, um, yeah, that's coming up. Um, we're going to be competing with other guys that have YouTube channels. I'm definitely going to be trying to get first place. Uh, first place will include a $100 gift card for a subscriber, one of my subscribers, or who, whoever wins. And it's going to be for J&H Tackle. Um, $100, it's not too bad. I'm going to try to get it. I'm not sure if I'm going to win, but like I said, I'm going to try. Anyway, thank you for watching. Next time.